I'm using a fine grade of valve lapping compound that I'll just daub onto the end of the ball and I'm going to put it in here and use the same kind of a motion that you would use if you were lapping a valve. You spin it a few times, lift it, spin it a few times, lift it, and I'll just keep doing this for a minute or two and we'll see what the results are. I finished up the lapping operation, reassembled the valve and put it in the fixture for pressure testing. The way I did the valve seat was I started with one ball and coarse grit and lapped the valve seat until it was about three quarters of a millimeter wide and I kept rotating the ball. As you can see the lapping operation cuts into the ball and I wanted to maintain as spherical a seat as I could so kept rotating the ball so that it wouldn't turn into a concave seat. I then moved to a fine grit and did the same thing. You can see the impressions on the ball are a little bit less and finally uh, when I'd gotten a nice smooth seat I used nothing but oil and lapped it in with just uh, a clean spot on the ball and oil. You can see that uh, it's holding about 50 psi. Of course the manifold is filled with oil so that represents 50 psi of oil pressure and it's been holding that now for about an hour. And the next thing I'm going to do is swap the gauge out for one that reads uh, upwards of 100 psi at least and I'm going to check and see what it pops off at. I've got it set up now with a gauge that's got a higher range in it for the pop-off test. I'm going to try that again. Looks like it pops at about 70 psi.